Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends and once again thank you for stopping by. It's very much appreciated. So today we've got something cool, cool for me anyway. Um, so it's my TRF503 um, but I've got some 3D printed um, front and back diff covers to fit to it which is pretty cool. So this came about because I was just browsing on the Tamiya TRF off-road group run by Mark. If you're on Facebook, check that group out. It's fantastic. A lot of um, race experience there, um, which is levels above where, where I'm at. Um, but um, I learned a lot from that group. Anyway, I was I was scrolling through the group, as I do, and uh, I just came across this company. Um, now, the company, I'll put a link to this the Facebook page um, and, that, and Mark's group in the description should you want to have a look. But this is from T-Star Racing Products and a lovely gentleman called Frederick. Um, so I contacted him, said um, I've got TRF503, I would love to fit those to mine. And um, he kindly sent me a, a set um, for free. So I cannot thank you enough. Um, he also sent me um, a chassis underneath skin, which is very cool. So we'll be sticking that on at some point. Um, so yeah, what we'll do now is we'll bring a camera over and I'll show you what the diffs look like as standard. Um, this video is going to be kind of raw, You're, we're going to be doing this together as it were. I have no idea what I need to do to fit these or how they actually fit. So um, you'll be seeing it in real time as I am. Anyway, let's get started. So if you don't know this particular chassis, as you can see the diffs are uh, showing front and back. On the front there is a little front cover. But on the rear, where the belt goes, you can see there's nothing. Now, again, that's not a, a problem. These are just a little um, add-on to improve that and stop, or help stop dirt and grit getting in there, because it's, as you can see, it's very open. Right, let's um, have a look at the 3D printed parts. Right, so that's what you get, the three pieces of each. That's the rear, which is a longer one, obviously the front. So again, no idea how this is gonna go together, so um, let's, uh, have a look at the car and see what we're going to need to do. Right, so we'll we'll concentrate. We'll do the front one first. So I guess what I'll do is I'll just take these two uh, nuts off, which will take the front shocks off the top mount, um, and then we'll have to take the front carbon top deck off. Um, and then in theory, this unit is just on four bolts, which lets us into the diff. So let's get those parts off. Okay, so that's everything off. Um, so obviously we can see into the front diff now. So this is the first part. Now obviously it's got the holes at the front, so it denotes it's going to go that way around. So I guess we just have to pull the diff out and uh, sit this in first. Right, so I see the base of it. it. So oh, that's a really nice snug fit that just pushes in between the alloy and then two screws at the front. Um, and then let's see if I can do this on camera. So you can see obviously the belt goes in there, but then you have this little cover that just slides down into there, and then that's sealed that hole. So now it's time to get the diff in. Right, that's the diff in place, obviously lined up correctly, um, nice and free. So yeah, I guess now I need to figure out how this bit, I guess just sits on like that, I'm assuming, and then the tower goes over the top and then get bolted down. Right, let's do that. And that's the front end all built back up. Now, I did have a little bit of an issue. Um, I believe this was, a, I, I got a prototype of the front um, and the reason I'm saying that is because on the rear, it's got the um, T-Star logo 3D printed on, whereas this one didn't. Now I do know the ones he's got now do. So I just had to take, just on the, underneath the shock tower, um, when I put the shock tower on, it was just pressing down um, too much on it and it um, it made the, the spool a little bit tight. Um, so I literally took a fraction off it with a hobby file um, and now it's, it's fine, everything's smooth. So um, yeah, happy with that front end. Right, that's the rear um, lower half in place. A little bit more involved with this one because you've got the uh, rear sway bar. Um, so yeah, just adjusted it all up again at the back. Um, so that's all in position now and the lower 3D mount is uh, fastened down. So let's get the diff in place. 
Right, so that's as I said the bottom half in. Now I've put back the um, upper deck because it needs that because it's got a space for it. So if I just sit that, so that's how that top fits, and then that clumps down there. That is excellent. That's very very tidy. I'm uh, I'm really liking that. Right, let's get that end bolt bolted down. Right, so that's that back one built up. You can see sealed at the back. And then on the front, all sealed here and down here as well. That's that's awesome. I really like that. That's cool. That uh, that goes together really well. And I nearly forgot the protective chassis skins on now. Superb. Never fitted one of those before. They're quite. It's not like a decal. It's thicker. Um, obviously, these are interchangeable as you wear them down. But um, yeah, it's cool because obviously it protects all the carbon chassis, which is uh, something you definitely want to do. So, very cool. That's me another stage further to getting this thing running. Obviously, it's winter now, so I'm, it's two or three months away from actually running. But um, that's a superb little add-on. So, again, a massive shout-out to Frederick um, from T-Star Racing Products. Um, again, all the links are in the description to that, should you want to go check them out, and I really do think you should. So, once again, guys, thanks so much for watching. It's massively appreciated. If you are new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us, and if you do that, smash that notification bell for our weekly videos. And as always, happy assing. Mm -hmm.